Uh, just another quick little bit. I'm going to fix the finish on here. See the kind of cellular is peeling off on this side here. So we'll do a quick little fix on there. So I'll just think, show how to do that one. So get the pins out. Take the base end off. And get that bit fixed. So let's get these pins out. Put that into there. Okay, so I've got some um, my grease proof paper, which I'm just going to put on the table here. And uh, nice and simple. So where that's peeling off, I'm going to apply, apply some super glue and then I'm going to rest it and put a weight on the top and just weight it down and that one should hopefully give a nice little finish so I'm just going to carefully add a little bit of glue underneath where this veneer has peeled off not too much just the, but making sure I go right to the edges because that's why I want it to be stuck down Right in there, right to the edges. There we go. I'm going to squeeze that down, and I've got a bit on this side as well. So, let's have another look. Right to the edge. There. And I'm going to put it on top of this kind of greasy groove paper. So hopefully it's not going to stick to the table. Get, get the wife all cross with me for ruining the nice kitchen table. Let's put it on there and I'm going to put a few weights on the top. And I've got my favourite weights, which are... Heavy books. So we've got Guinness Book of Records, Lego Ideas Book, Viz Manual, and the Lion Graphic Bible. Let's pop that on there. Look at that. It's a bit of significant weight on there. I'll leave that for a little while uh, and then just have a look. So I'll leave it for an hour or two uh, and then uh, hopefully get it all sorted out before anyone else comes back and realizes that I'm making a big mess on the kitchen table. Okay, leave that for a sec. Okay, uh, just a quick um, update. So it's all going well. The last thing I did was uh, gluing on some of the veneer that was peeling off from the um, sides of the melodeon. So what I did, I put some super glue and then put it on a flat surface with some heavy books and that's all gone really well. Now the next thing is that on the back there was a bit missing of the veneer so I bought some veneer so I bought kind of a big bit, that's just an off cut, so a big bit of this stuff cut out a cardboard template for exactly the same size and then put some super glue on the wood, so cleaned the wood up a little bit with some sandpaper super glue, rested it got the big heavy books so, oh, yeah. big heavy books, really helpful just to put some weight onto it and left it overnight and then what's happened is that all the that veneer is now nicely stuck on and it's looking good so all the veneer has been done so this one here I've done that side and all around there so it's all looking a lot tidier so that's good just lift it up a little bit there we are so that's good and I've also um, finished the bellows. So the bellows all looking nice and tidy. All the tape's gone on, all the corners been fixed um, and it's all looking quite nice. Another thing I've done is because you've got leather right inside between the bellow, bellow folds 
out there that's quite old and it's getting quite dry so I just put a little tiny little smear of Vaseline onto the leather in the folds and that's going to keep it nice and stop it from drying out too much so these bellows are looking good and then the final thing with the bellows was that there's where the bellows are attached to the frame there's a kind of a wooden frame around here so I've touched that up um, with black now you can use black paint a little top tip is black nail varnish works really well and it just stays nice and tidy uh, so yeah black nail varnish is a little top tip that's a good one so all together it's all looking quite nice if we put it back together for a sec just without the pins so new keyboard polished the grill sorted out the veneers all the way around so that's looking better stuck down in all the loose bits of veneer take the bellows fix the bellows up so it's all looking pretty good so it's all looking like it's going to be a, a good melodeon I've cleaned the buttons and I've got one new button to fix one as well but I'll do that at some point so that's all looking nice now it's all looking good but when I try to test the bellow compression how much air has been lost I can feel air coming out between the the two ends and the bellows and that's why the next thing to do is to take off the bellows gasket and replace it with new bellows gasket so what I'm going to do is just remove the base and treble ends down there for a minute so the bellows gasket on here is just some stringy kind of material which goes all the way around that's been on there for ages and ages and ages uh, and that needs to come off so I'm going to take off all of this stringy stuff so I'm going to get a bit off to just get my old trusty Swiss Army knife and see if I can get some less bellows String off, here we go. I'll just have a quick look. There we go, just see there. This really stringy stuff. Ooh, it's not very really nice. It's all coming off. And this is because it's not really sealing anymore. It's all got a bit old and tired. I'm going to get all this string off and I'm going to replace it with. Uh, a new foam bellows gasket so the next thing I'm gonna go I've got the string off I'm just gonna go around with my blade take as much of the excess off as possible once I've done that I'm gonna get some sandpaper and I'm gonna just sand all the way around that edge all the way around just to make sure it's all nice and clean get rid of all the dust and then I'm gonna apply a brand new bellows gasket on the both yeah. sides so I'll show you that in a sec Okay, so I've cleaned off all of the old bellows gasket and given it a little sand. We're back. Okay, now just angle it down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I had to put the bellows gasket on. So the bellows gasket comes in a roll and it's self adhesive. And it comes in different thicknesses so this is five mil and you can get wider than that depending on how wide you need it to be so it depends on how wide this bit frame of the bellows is um, and if you have a look at what's been on already, already on there that's a good sign to kind of give you a clue as how wide your bellows gasket needs to be so this is five mil bellows gasket in itself adhesive what i'm going to do i'm going to start halfway along on the side i'm going to go around and carefully go around all the corners until I get to, sorry, until I get to the beginning again and hopefully end up with a nice join in the middle. So let's see how this goes. So hopefully it goes okay. That's how I go. So I'm going to start off in the middle here and let's see how well. So I'll just peel off a little bit of the self adhesive. I'll start here. So. 
push it into the side so it's kind of more there we are nice and neat and then when I get to the corner this is where you've got to be a little bit careful and then you can have carefully go around the corner this is where you have to wait okay, a bit. Carefully gone round the corner. I'm going to show you that bit. Carefully gone round the corner. So where we are, here we go. So, and all the time pressing it right to the edge of the frame, so you're kind of getting it nice and close to this bit here. Take off a bit more of the self adhesive tape. Carefully round the corner. Carefully round the corner. Carefully around the corner, and I got around the next one. So you have to just be very careful to bend it round the corner. There we go. So you got a nice, 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 neat finish. Now, when it gets towards, I'm getting towards the beginning now where I started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it deliberately, cut it a tiny bit long, because what I want to do is to be able to trim it exactly to the right size. So if I start off with a bit, a little bit long I've got a bit of chance of, of making an exact cut to make it fit. So I'm going to go a tiny bit long. There we are. So then I can put the bellows gasket to one side and then stick it down. And then just as carefully as you can Work out where you've got to cut it to get an exact meeting up. So let's put that down. Looking good. We are. And that is one bellows gasket fitted. All looking nice and tidy. So what I'll do, I'll do exactly the same for the bottom. So we've got two lots of bellows gaskets, but I won't actually film that bit because it's exactly the same as this one. But I'll do that, and when I've got it all on, then we can put the accordion back together and just see how better, how much better the um seal is on the bellows. Okay, bellows gasket's all fitted, so it's all looking nice and neat all the way around. So it's like a new seal really between the bellows and the base and the treble side of the melodeon. But I do like fixing bellows gaskets because it's quite straightforward but it makes quite a big difference to the seal of the uh, bellows, which can make a real difference to how how it plays. So if I put the bellows back together with the top and bottom, once you put the the base and the treble side or top and bottom back onto the bellows, because the bellows gasket is a bit thicker, when you put it on you may well have to squeeze down a bit to get the compress the bellows gasket a bit to get the pins through the holes because it's a bit bigger. So let's just see how that goes. Actually that's gone in quite nice. If I just tip it down a little bit. Maybe I'll try this one. Squeeze down a bit. That's gone in okay. Let's try this one. And that one's going alright. Actually, they're going in pretty well. Just a bit of a squeeze. So a little bit tight. Good. That's in place. Let's get the the base end. Let's get it back together. There we are. I just go back a tiny bit. You can see better. All right. So now I'm going to put the base pins, the base side pins in. 
20 times. Uh, that one goes in there. Actually, this pin's going in nice, so that's good. That much bother. There we are. Now the next thing is to see if the seals have done their job. But I've got a bit of a problem, not a problem, but something to contend with. I've taken off a big screw on the side here that's screwing in a, a nasty old um, strap. So I'm going to just cover that with tape, that hole, and the same on that side. But I've also taken off the bellows strap, which is this bit here, which normally goes along the bottom um, and the reason I took it off because it's getting a bit dry and old it's been on there for a long time so I've, I've kind of uh, rubbed in some Vaseline into that to kind of feed the leather a bit and haven't fitted it back on so I'll fit that back on later so that's going to stay off for a minute so I'm going to tape up all the little holes that are there on the sides of the melodeon just get some electrical tape which is not going to damage the finish but just cover up some of those holes and let's see how the kind of compression of the, of the melodeon is now that I fixed the bellows and sealed them up and I fitted some new bellows gasket. Urgh, this is a tricky bit now. Well, not tricky. It's an interesting bit to see if it's all going to be quite good. I think it will be, but who knows? Might be rubbish. I hope not. There we are. So put that on there. One more little bit of tape. Just electrical tape so it doesn't leave any nasty marks and stuff. There we are. So just taped up my ooze. Just so there's nowhere coming out from these little holes on the side. And let's have a little look. Ooh, that's good. Okay, that's nice. So now, I'm having to pull quite hard to get those bellows to come apart, so I have to push them back together again. And that's telling me, oh, so those bellows actually working really, really well. So the seal's good. Um, let's have a little, see if I can get a few notes. <laughs> So the notes were working, but the, I think the compression is really, really good. So I think the combination of fixing bellows with new bellows corners, put some new bellows tape on, and new bellows gasket has really improved the compression on this melodeon. Um, so I think that's that's a good, a good sign. That means that when we start to finish off the job, it's going to have good compression. So hopefully it'll be nice and loud, not losing air through the sides and through the bellows and stuff. So that's good. Oh, excuse me. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stop there, but I think it's looking tidy. Certainly getting there. The next video, I think I'm going to um, have a look at the pallets. Which, I'll just take this off a minute. So the pallets are the wooden blocks, which when you push the button, the wooden block moves. To let air through the hole to go through the reeds. Now these pallets are faced with felt and leather which over time becomes kind of hard and um, doesn't kind of good make a good seal anymore. So I'm going to take these pallets off, all these wooden blocks, and I'm going to put some new felt and leather on each one so that then they seal nicely against the this kind of wooden plate if you like um, and get a nice seal when they're not being opened. So that's the next job. I think I'm going to take these blocks off and fix some new felt and leather onto the pallets. Uh, I think I'll also be doing the same thing on the pallets on the on the base side as well. Okay, full for now. <laughs>